there could be new hope for people with obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah, an estimated 2% of the population or 1 in 50 has OCD. Treatments currently available don't work well for many and often have side effects. As Stephanie Stahl reports, a new experimental drug could change that. Every time he passes a door, Ted Nichols has to check that it's locked. It's an irrational thought. I know that I've locked the door. I know it's locked, but I just continue to check it anyway. Same thing with washing his hands. For no reason I feel dirty. I have to wash um, really thoroughly, not just like a one and done. I have to do it probably three times. It seems ridiculous, but I can't stop. Ted has obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. He gets fixated on something like locking the door, then compulsively checks it. My wife says, well, you know what you're doing? Just stop. I would if I could. I really would, but I can't. Traditional medications for OCD target brain chemicals, serotonin and dopamine, but they're only marginally helpful. So a good percentage of the patients do not get relief with the current medication. Psychiatrist Dr. Shukmar Hati is a principal investigator for an experimental OCD medication made by Biohaven Pharmaceuticals. It targets a different brain chemical called glutamate. The drug works on the symptoms of anxiety and if the anxiety comes down the compulsion to perform an activity will also come down. Limited early results have been positive. It would dramatically change my life. Ted is thinking about enrolling in the trial to test the new drug, hoping for a more effective treatment for the disorder that interferes with his life every day. The pharmaceutical company is looking to enroll 226 people at 59 test centers around the country.